about it and we get a lot more companies uh, interested as well. Absolutely. So I'll start with you, uh, Frances. Yes. For those who don't even know what the Ghana Club 100 is about, even though it's existed for many years, can you let us know a bit more about the Ghana Club 100 Awards? Yeah, thank you very much, Crystal. And um, the Ghana Club 100, it's an annual compilation of top 100 companies to give due recognition to enterprise building. Mm -hmm. um, it was launched in 1998 by the, by the Ghana Investment Promotion Centre. Center. And um, it serves as a platform for corporate ex excellence. Mm -hmm. um, as well as seven as a platform for corporate excellence, um, ranked companies are supposed to serve as role models for the private sector Ooh. and also as a platform for engaging governments at the highest level. Okay. Yeah, so in a nutshell, that's what the Ghana Club 100 is about. Mm, it's about corporate excellence, excellence and recognition of top successful um, companies. companies. So it means that a, co a lot of corporate institutions would be looking forward to being placed in the top hundred in Ghana. Absolutely. How how are entries? Uh, how do how do you get your entries? How many companies actually um, apply for this? Do they apply? What's the process like? Yeah, averagely we get um, plus or minus um, two hundred submissions okay. or entries, and um, yeah, so average two hundred. Yeah, in plus a year. or minus yeah, okay. in a year. So that's the submissions we get, and it's actually handed over to the consultant that does the ranking. The ranking. Yeah. But how do these companies come up in the first place? How do these entries come up? Is it people who vote for them or the companies themselves can nominate themselves? No, we don't. Uh, people don't vote for them. What we do is we actually advertise in the dailies okay. for companies to companies who are willing to be ranked okay. to submit their audited account, the last three years audited account. So, I mean, once they submit it, we collate it and forward it to the ranking consultant. So that's how we go about it. It's mainly through advertising. Advertising. Yeah. So simply, it's the, the company should be willing to be ranked. Absolutely, in the first place. absolutely. So it's okay. not mandatory. It's right. a voluntary thing, okay. and we actually encourage them to submit themselves okay. for ranking. That's good to know. And with all these kind of uh, you know events and award schemes, they, they they come with themes. And so this year, do you have any theme that you are, you are going by? And how do you, how did you select that theme as well? I'm very interested to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> this year's theme is uh, sustainable agriculture, mm. the bedrock to Ghana's industrialization drive. Okay. Uh, the theme fits into government's uh, agenda to move Ghana away from uh, an import dependent country, country exactly. to an export uh, oriented country. Mm -hmm. So um, that is one of the reasons why we choose this, uh, uh, this theme. Yeah. Previously we had chosen themes like innovation, technology, mm -hmm. you know, to assist in industrialization. And then another uh, theme that we used previously was uh, centered around industrialization for job creation. Okay. Ghana is an agricultural uh, country. Yeah. We are more dependent on agriculture. But we cannot continue in this way of agriculture. Yeah. We need to turn our agro produce into uh, processed uh, products yeah. for export so that we can manage the economy much better so that our imports do not continue to exceed our, our exports. Oh, right. So these are reasons why we have chosen this, this thing for this year. Okay. Now you see government has policies on one village, one dam, yeah. okay. uh, one district, one, one factory, factory, and all these. These yeah. are uh, policies aimed at driving the economy from where it is mm. to another stage. And so uh, a concerted effort to help support this vision of government okay. is one of the reasons why we are choosing this team. Okay. And uh, we are making efforts to also support the one district, one factory. factory. Uh, I want to understand how the theme actually uh, affects the award scheme. Is, uh, do you select uh, companies that are working in the agricultural sector this time around? How, how does, how, what's the correlation? Well, we, it's not only um, the agricultural sector, okay. the award covers the entire range of the value chain in the, in the business uh, okay. environment. So we award agriculture, yes. We award finance, okay. uh, the banking and finance sector. We award uh, techno um, technology mm -hmm. uh, sector, that is the ICT sector. Yeah. And then we award um, uh, 
all the other health and uh, health and education, yeah. uh, tourism, and all that. So it's not only uh, the agri sector, okay. but this year that is the focus. All oh, right. That we want to to develop the agri sector, yeah. so that uh, to dovetail into all the other sectors. Okay. If we have a strong agro sector that can produce more raw material, yeah. then the manufacturing sector would take also up raw material from there, yeah. and then they will also thrive. Yeah. Then the financial sector will That's also true. benefit yeah. through uh, financial exchanges. Yeah. So th these are some of the reasons. Reasons. And what, what, what is the objective uh, of the Club 100 this year? What, what's the objective? The main objective is to create a platform okay. for thriving businesses in Ghana to be able to engage government at higher levels. Okay. Now, these Club 100 members, there's something we call the breakfast series, which mm -hmm. we develop at the GIPC. Yeah. Every quarter, we have the breakfast series, the uh, Ghana Club 100 member CEOs yeah. breakfast series. Now, at this uh, forum, the GIPC operates under the office of the president. So, at our functions, we have the privilege of having government officials uh, okay. attend. attend yeah. So at the, at that, on that platform, yeah. private businesses are able to air their grievances right. or to discuss the difficulties that, they, that is confronting mm. them in their various sectors. And it's not limited to award winners? Not only to, to the award. Okay. Well, but the <coughs> breakfast series is for the club members. Oh, right. right. For the club members. And then we table various uh, challenges that are confronting businesses yeah. for discussion and then government listens. And for instance, about three years ago, there was a policy on uh, Forex, Forex policy, mm. that says that you cannot withdraw more than $10,000 yes, and stuff from yes. counter. Yeah. So we, that topic became, uh, was brought to table for discussion. Mm. And uh, after that discussion, government officials were present from the uh, uh, office of the president, were there. And believe me, a week after, the policy was, was reviewed. Oh, 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 wow, interesting. So they are able to gain such access mm. to, 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 okay. to government. Yeah. That's quite direct. I just want a bit of clarification, though. You mentioned club members. Uh, is it different from those who take part in the award scheme altogether? So you have a club that um, people apply to be a part of, companies apply to be a part of, and that's separate from the award scheme altogether? No. Yeah. As the award winners, they, they, they award the 100 the companies right. from the club. Okay. So the, the lifespan of the club is yearly. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So the I following guess year, you get a new <laughs> club. You get a yeah. new yeah. Yes, which may have some of the same, depending some on who wins. Some may fall out. I know that. A new people may enter. Enter, exactly. So it's quite competitive. Okay. It must be among the 100. 100. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of competitive, Francis, how competitive really are these rankings? Very competitive, Crystal. I mean, um, as you can see in the 2017 edition, we have Skankom being the second um, um, winner. In 2017? And, yeah, in 2017. Mm. And then we had Ghana Oil being the third, yeah. and then um, Goldfields fourth. Okay. But you realize that in 2018, yeah. Skankom moved to first, <laughs> yes, and then Ghana Oil moved to second, wow. and Goldfields moved to third. Mm. So you can tell the companies are actually always trying to improve their mm. lots yeah. so that they can always enhance their rankings on the Ghana Club 100. 100. Yeah, so I'm it is very competitive. I'm interested to know the, the various methods that you use to select these um, um, companies, how do how are they ranked really? Right. So to to actually meet the criteria, criteria, you should be a limited company. Okay. Yeah. And if it's if you are a company that has um, government participation, government's share ownership should be less than fifty percent, or the company should okay. be listed on the stock exchange. exchange. Yeah. So some people it shouldn't even be a state uh, organization. No, absolutely yeah. not. And also we use size over turnover, so size of the company okay. to do the ranking and then growth okay. and also profitability of the company and this is over a period of three years and that is obtained from the audited accounts of the company. Of the company. Yeah. And can we also get the award categories? Uh, yeah so well obviously the top 100 companies are awarded and then we have the discretionary awards. Okay. And then we have the sectorial awards. The okay. sectorial, the various, the best companies within the sectors, the sectors. Okay. are awarded. And then the discretionary ones, ones, we have like the highest paid tax uh, company. And then we have the best CSR. 
and then we have the profitable company okay. yeah and then we have um uh, which other one do we have? We have the best listed company mm. as well. So these are some of the, the companies, companies that we award during the Club 100 mm. and anytime, award ceremony. Anytime we talk about awards, yeah. there's always an issue of credibility. Some people don't even want to take part of it, part in it because they think it's not credible. Mm -hmm. it, you know, uh, winners will not be selected on the right basis. There may be partiality and so on and so on. How credible really is this Ghana Club 100? Very credible. How? Number one, uh, Companies who submit uh, do that voluntarily, number one. They do that vo voluntarily. Mm. Then, so there's no coercion. Okay. All right. So it's not subjective. It's very objective. And then apart from that, it is an independent body that evaluates. Okay. And that's the ranking. Okay. Right? Now, to add more credibility to that, over the years we do research and then we, we, we add value okay. to, the, to the brand. Now, Every company that submits, we verify, mm. we verify their authenticity okay. from their regulators. Mm. If you are a bank, yes. are the, the, bank the, the, the regulators of the banking industry yes. verify that okay. you are conforming to industry oh, right. um, uh, 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 standards. Rules, standards. Yes. So that's another uh, credibility to it. Okay. Then you also realize, over the years we have realized that, most of the companies that actually make it to the top mm. also make it to the top in their various uh, um, sector awards, oh, okay. like the banking awards yes, and all yes, that. Yes. The company, the bank that does well yeah. on the Club 100, equally does well on the uh, banking award. Okay. Sometimes the first position or the second position. Mm. So you can see it's not subjective, very right. objective and, and, and Incredible. Okay, so you have an independent party that handles all these. Absolutely. Yeah, and just to add notes. to what Tom said, yes. I mean, the selection process for selecting the consultant, mm. we actually go through a bidding process. Okay. So it's not like anyone is coerced to actually, okay. or we get a company or select a company to get it done. So it's very competitive, and it's we go through done. the bidding process in okay. getting that done. Yeah. I see. Interesting. So how, how does anyone take part in this? Yeah, so to take part in the event, yes. you have to obtain a ticket from the GIPC's okay. office at the reception, okay. and the ticket is 350 Ghana cities. Okay. Yeah. So we come to your office and then we get our tickets. Yeah. All right. Can we get any concluding remarks from you? And yeah, we would like to thank you very much for having us. And we'd like to encourage <laughs> the private sector to actually join us, yeah. celebrate captains of industry this mm. um, tomorrow evening. It's going to be a wonderful one. And we'd like to see all of them, all of them there, oh. including yourself. Including myself. <laughs> very interesting. I'm sure it will be. The president will be in attendance. Oh, nice. OK. So we encourage everybody to, to be, be there. It. All right, yeah. so it's the 18th edition of the Ghana Club 100 2019 Awards happening tomorrow. Um, at what time? 6, 6 p.m. Yes, at the Gold Coast Kempinski Hotel. It's happening tomorrow. You don't want to miss out on this one, especially if you're a businessman or businesswoman. It also opens up networking uh, opportunities for you, so don't miss out on it. You can get your tickets at the GIPC office, and uh, if you need to know any more information, just uh, log on to the GIPC website, and you'll be sorted. 